Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Chance, and today we're back with another movie reaction with Lisa Frankenstein. Now, I'm really excited for this movie. I did see the trailer once or twice, I believe, and I loved everything I saw in it. Just the aesthetic alone makes me really want to watch this movie. But it also stars Katherine Newton, who was great and freaky, so I'm excited to see her in this. I also do know that this is directed by Zelda Williams, Robin Williams' daughter. I didn't know that she was actually directing movies. And while I think this is like her first big movie, I think she's done maybe a few smaller indie films that I'll have to check out as well. This was also written by Diablo Cody, who, you know, a lot of people know from Jennifer's Body. I haven't seen Jennifer's Body yet, but I really want to watch it. I've been waiting to see that one. I'm hoping we can react to it here soon on the channel, but we'll see when that happens. But yeah, other than that, I just know that this movie sort of takes inspiration from old Tim Burton films and movies like Heathers. I recently watched Heathers here for the first time on the channel, and I loved that movie. So if we're getting those kind of vibes, along with some Tim Burton vibes, then I just know I'm going to love this movie. But if you are new here, I do react to any and everything all horror so if that sounds like something you would be interested in definitely go ahead and subscribe and then make sure you hit the notification bell as well that way you can be notified anytime i upload and one last thing before we get into the video just a huge shout out to my youtube members if you guys want to be part of that i'll make sure to leave the link in the description below some of these perks includes early access and full length watch alongs to all of the reactions i do you also get two live stream watch alongs a week for horror movies that i have seen before as well as full length watch alongs for non-horror movies that i haven't seen before such as guardians of the galaxy volume 3 the new mission impossible and shin godzilla once again if you want to be a part of that i'll go ahead and leave the link in the description below but with all that out of the way let's go and hop into the reaction for lisa frankenstein this is the first critical rager of the year that's compulsory and you know what your doctor said you need socialization <laughs> why don't you use my tanning bed when i won junior miss hawaiian tropic i'd use my title to help other people and that includes sharing the grand prize with those in need <laughs> the grand prize was a tanning bed <laughs> Yeah, even just based off the trailer, I love the aesthetic, but I'm already... Oh, I'm shit, really you okay? Sorry. I'm already you loving it. Lisa. <laughs> I'm sorry you got electrocuted. How are you liking Brookview so far? It's the same as my old school. Are you hot for anyone? <laughs> Does he have more of a basketball bod or a football bod? He doesn't play sports. He's cerebral. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> we could have walked. Too far. But there's a shortcut through the forest <laughs> through Bachelors Grove. I am not taking no shortcut. Right, hell no. I think it's really peaceful and quiet. Oh. I do wax rubbings of all the tombstones. That's his grave from the beginning. It was my mom's. It's kind of morbid when I wear it, so I wanted you to have it. Well, thank you. That's really weird, Lisa. <laughs> Just a little bit. Lisa Swallow. Why do you know my name? <laughs> well, we're both currently being educated in the same walls of asbestos. You submitted some really strong poems to the Grackle. You like my poems? I wouldn't publish them if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not the snort. Lisa was home alone with her mom. And this psycho broke in. Ain't no way, this is... The guy axe murdered her mom. And she heard the whole thing. I'd be screwed up if I were her too. I think anybody would, but I don't think that's what actually happened. What about her dad? My mom met him six months after the murder, and they got engaged and married real quick. You sure it wasn't the dad that axe murdered the mom? Do you want a sip? Uh, I'll take one. No, right, why would I assume that she parties? Wow. What's in there? And you're downing it? Oh yeah, that's gonna hit you. What is this? No, I'm not even sure. I got it off um, Darren. Come on. You're not even sure what it is? This is not what I expected from you. You have so much potential, Lisa. Hey, you. She actually went cross-eyed there for a second. That's funny. Oh my god, watch her. Do not let her by the pool. <laughs> she does a really good job acting under the influence of whatever the hell she's on. Please tell me he's actually trying to lead her somewhere to literally down and not trying to take advantage of her. I don't trust him. Looks like the angels are bowling. Really? My mom used to say that. I've never heard that saying. Does that feel good? Does what feel good? What the hell is you doing? Oh, hell no. Throw him out the window. Come on, Lisa, just for a minute. You know it's not nice to lead people on, Lisa. Poor girl. Wow, production design, man. 15 minutes in, I can already tell this is gonna be a movie I'm gonna rewatch a lot. <laughs> so, was lightning gonna strike and bring him to life? I always try this with 
<laughs> what was that noise? Was that him? Lisa, did you smash the mirror in the bathroom? Is that the dad from Stranger Things? There was a damn tornado last night. It was a tornado watch, Mom. Not a real tornado. <laughs> no one coddled me when my dad blew up in Da Nang. <laughs> and that is why I am the way I am today. I can tell. Hey. Hello. <laughs> I had no idea that cup was spiked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was good. <laughs> it was good. I can always count on her to work on Saturdays because she can't get a date. <laughs> Damn. Excuse hey, it's you. probably because she's so flat chested. What the fuck? That's a teenager. Hey. The Day of the Dead. Bob the Zombie. His name was Bob, right? It's been a while since I've seen that. She's got great taste in movies. <laughs> I love how it's playing with the movie. It's got like mud caked all over him and everything. <laughs> you are breaking all of your stepmom's shit and she's gonna blame you again. All the mud too. <laughs> I didn't realize how Barbie-esque this house was. Pink everything. Hey, caught you. Oh. That's my dad's shoe phone. I remember those. I'm free with a subscription to Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Mom, we gotta hide you. We're better off up here in case anybody comes home. She's really just going along with this. Please don't puke the green stuff, green stuff up on my floor. My mom's rosary. Your hand. She gonna have some sort of love triangle be with this dead man and the other guy? I meant I wished I was in the, the ground, dead, because life sucks and people are jerk-offs. I didn't mean that I wanted to be with you. You gonna break this dead man's heart? Well, it's already broken. Oh, I'm sorry. Aww. No, 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 don't cry. Just crying <gasps> green. Oh. Oh. Your tears <laughs> smell so bad. Your tears smell so bad. That drain is going to be clogged. Ugh, worms and shit. I'm fine. It's okay. I'm good. Honey. Why is nobody? Janice. Is? We... Oh, belly boys. I'm like, somebody broke in. He had a, a mask, a black mask, wide brimmed hat, and a striped jumpsuit. That sounds like a hamburger. <laughs> Lisa got a lot of attention. So now wow, she's Wow, really? Recreating the scene of the crime. Don't make me hate Carla. <laughs> She needs to go somewhere for a while. Oh, hell wow. no. We can't just send off Lisa to the snake pit. She can barely survive PE. <laughs> mm, that's Taffy's. <laughs> it's not really my style. Mm. He said, no, you wear it. Hey, love the hat. There you go, girl. He got you styling. Hey. Did you have me taking the notes in White's class today? I don't know. I feel like this guy's going to turn out to be a douchebag. You sure you're not on the payroll? No, you have to have like a, like a stupid face to teach her. You have to be really ugly with a stupid face. <laughs> I'm very protective of her. She's a newish transfer student, and I want her to make friends with the right people. No punks, trenchies, or death clowns. Death clowns? Oscar Wilde said to define is the limit. Well, Oscar the Grouch said, scram. <laughs> I'll see you later. You sure he's in high school? Not somebody's dad? I think he really likes me. <laughs> Are guys so simple that you just have to put on a pirate skeezer dress and suddenly they want to talk to you? Yeah. How will I ever repay you? <laughs> you could give me a hand. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't just get you new parts. I mean, you're a dead man. And she's handling this all very well. <laughs> hey, don't kirk out on me, man. <laughs> Damn it, Janet. Woo. I thought you were going to Milwaukee. I skipped the conference because I'm ill. You are ill. And do you know why I'm ill, Aunt Flo? <laughs> Aunt Flo. Because a little whore. Ooh, no, she didn't. On my diet plate. How would she do that when she's not even there? I even opened my glorious home to an ungrateful little bitch. Ooh, she is evil. I didn't want to move here. You <laughs> wanted to stay like, in the house I where your mom was butchered like a hog? I can't believe that actually happened. That's a crazy traumatic thing. Maybe it was the first time anyone ever looked at you. Shut up. Ooh, no, she got to go. Add her to the kill list. I talked to the head of the juvenile program at Serenity Manor, and you are being admitted. Yes, get her. Get her, Frankenstein. Get her, Frankenstein's monster. Where a disturbed person like you belongs. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Oh, he hit her with the sewing machine. Oh yeah, she's dead. He said, <laughs> he's so proud of it. Are you trying to cut? You could take her hand. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do that. Not until we bury the body. <laughs> she is killing. She always kills every role she's she's in, but she's really killing this role. Not with the wagon. I love that she's just accepting all of this and not like totally freaking out. She's just going along with it. Well, we got you an ear. Now we just need to get you a hand. And good thing you found you somebody that can sew. Don't tell mom I said this, but it's actually kind of nice not having her in town. I miss her. You do? <laughs> you do? I'm just so glad that you chose someone who's good for both of us. <gasps> this isn't waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> She's great this movie too. What happened to your neck? That's what I was wondering. Crimper accident. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like um, her role in Freaky, as far as like going from really shy, quiet girl to being confident, deadly, <laughs> and more outspoken. I'm so glad that you came. Oh, she about to kill this man. You don't want to hold my hand? Oh, I will. Oh, I'm loving this. Why are we at Bachelors? This whole place gives me the creeps, okay? It, it, it's not Christian. <laughs> I want you to touch me exactly the way you touched me at the party. Well, I had a bunch of beers, you know, which is which is probably why I was so good at it. <laughs> yeah, you were so good at it. Gotcha. Ooh, yes, get in on it. Don't just have him do it. Hey. Even he was like, ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this movie so many times. This is gonna be tough. But it's just gonna be for work, for for looks. It's not gonna work. Hey, there you go. It's like each time. Oh, you're a musician. He looks more and more human. Okay. Like his skin and stuff. Oh, he's good, good. Piano is one of their instruments I want to learn how to play one day. Guys, I finally got my standing backpack. It was a little off the cheese mat. <laughs> I gotta go tell mom. Doesn't she get back tomorrow? Just tell her then. Mom said that if I got my back tuck, she'd finally give me her diamond studs. <laughs> <laughs> Holler before you get off. I want to talk to mom too. Is it me or is it not weird that like she's calling him daddy like after six months? I just called my mom's hotel and they're saying that she never checked in. I'm sure there's some explanation. Yeah, she's dead, where she belongs. She left Monday. She has hazel eyes, but she wears green contact lenses to enhance them and- um, <laughs> To enhance them. She's wearing Elizabeth Taylor White Diamonds perfume. Yeah, she's a bitch. She's <laughs> I'm not afraid of death anymore. But I don't want to die a virgin. Did you? Oh, come on, you're not going to tell me? You kind of can't. What? Wow. Did you love her? I want to do it with someone I truly love. Michael Trent. You don't love him, girl. We killed two people. I could get the claim for life or the electric chair. Girl, don't be saying that so loud. That's like a tanning bed, but for criminals. <laughs> Trent. Michael Trent. Police the Swallows, come to the office, please. I didn't realize her last name was Swallows. <clears throat> Slight penalty. Well, we got another one to kill. Well, this young lady here says that you had plans to meet up with Doug after school yesterday. What the hell? How do you know about that? I have the locker right next to Doug's, so when I went to get something that I forgot, I saw her slip a note into his locker. Oh, you piece of shit. He stood me up. Well, that's funny, because we have multiple witnesses saying they saw a young man, the description of Doug, at Bruce Lake. Oh, damn. Suki from down the street just came into work and said she saw your car. Maybe we can squeeze in a little Kukumo before the girls get home. Kukumo? Pull harder. What are you, a little fruitcake, huh? Oh, hell no. What the hell? Oh, hell no. What the hell? <laughs> this is my neighborhood, and you don't need to be here. 
<laughs> I love how they just cut back and do it as late the fuck out. You're not doing that bad. You're going a little slow, but you're making it. What are you doing? <laughs> You have to take me to Michael's. It's 1989. People have sex out of wedlock all the time these days. Plus, I have a contraceptive sponge in my purse. It's enormous. <laughs> it's your fault we're screwed. You killed Janet. It wasn't my idea. Hey, don't blame this on him. He's trying to help you, girl. You act like you're happy for me and you care about me, but you're not really happy for me. We're going to talk about this after. <laughs> girl, you're out of line. You're going to be here with their sister. Guarantee it. You're just so cute, sweet, pure. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, please don't. Sister Cher, huh? Well, I guess so. Guys usually only want me for one thing. Yeah, and you just gave it out like a cheese cube from Hickory Farms. <laughs> I don't have feelings for you like that. Because I'm not sweet and simple like her. It's not enough polarity for you, Werner Heisenberg. <laughs> You're not making any sense. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what, what's going on? Dude. Oh, we about to kill both of them. Do it! <laughs> this music. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not with the balls attached and everything. <laughs> In the trash! Oh my god, that is amazing! You kinda gotta kill her now. And I will take this penis with me. That's all he wanted. He just wanted it. He needed a dick. Thank you for being nice to me when no one else was. You really actually wanted me to be your sister. She's just sitting there terrified. Oh. That's not for her, right? Oh, don't kill him again. Don't do it. Oh. I don't know how this is gonna work out though. <laughs> you loved me. I don't think he can. Why not? <laughs> the way he's standing. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh, oh, Michael's. Oh. You, cut <laughs> you cut it off for me? Sewing on the penis, I love it. It's a dead penis, though. Said there is no reason for my fears. See, every time he uses the um the tanning bed, it's like his skin even looks more healthier. <laughs> At least it looks alive now. There's no other way. Make sure you set it to max bronze. Yeah, I didn't expect it to end like this. <laughs> oh damn! You're gonna burn alive? It's a painful way to go. What is it? What do you see? She still got the necklace on. Okay, let's go visit your mom. And then, Fud Ruckers. <laughs> Fud Ruckers. I don't know if they have those anymore. What does she see? Show me. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. That you were here with your brown eyes bright and clear. And your sweet voice. He's talking, or is this a flashback? And your brow. No way. More than the sky. That's cool. Your Italy. That's cool. All right, well, that was Lisa Frankenstein. And just like I thought, I loved this movie. Even down to just the aesthetic alone and, you know, just how the film looked, all the cool different shots, especially the transitions. Everyone involved in making this movie just did an amazing job. I did get vibes of Heathers with the sort of, you know, violent couple going on a murder spree, sort of say. But I also definitely got some Tim Burton vibes. Like I said in the intro, I definitely saw some Edward Scissorhands in there and a couple other movies, a little, maybe a little bit of Beetlejuice just with some of the crazy like set design and lighting. But overall, it didn't feel like just a mashup of a bunch of other things we know. It definitely had its own voice. Very kooky, very weird, even just like sort of the structure of the movie. Um, You know, it kind of just flies by stuff and doesn't sit there and explain why is this happening? How did this guy come back to life? How did she come back to life? It definitely reminds me of older 80s and 90s horror movies where it's just like, it's a movie, go with it. And honestly, I love them for that. Once again, Catherine Newton just killed it 
every time I see her in a movie, she's so great in it. She's really good at the double roles of, you know, playing the shy, sort of innocent, timid girl, and then becoming this very confident, murderous woman, <laughs> sort of say. I also really liked, um, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. I think it's Liza Saberano. Um, she played the sister in this movie. I thought she really did a good job. Carla Gugino was amazing as sort of, you know, the bitchy 80s mom that we've seen in a lot of movies before. And then, of course, you got the guy that I don't know his name, but he's basically the 80s dad, <laughs> as we've seen from Stranger Things. I feel like he was an obvious smart choice for this movie, and he did a good job as well. Cole Sprouse, um, I haven't really seen him in anything, I don't think, but I thought he did an amazing job here, especially for not having that much dialogue. He pretty much had to convey everything through body language, and I thought he did a really amazing job. He was somehow charming without even having to talk. But yeah, overall, I love this movie. Like I said, I can see myself re-watching this over and over again. Hell, I might do a live watch along here soon on the channel just to watch it again with you guys. But other than that, I'm really looking forward to watching Jennifer's body now. But let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments below. If you enjoyed my reaction, please go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and then also hit the notification bell as well. That way you can be notified anytime I upload. But as always, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.